to expansive biomes. This add-on brings 20 new biomes to your Minecraft experience. It also brings several new mobs. Don't worry, this raccoon isn't dead. It's just sleeping. Be careful though, because they're not all friendly like the raccoon. We have black bears and brown bears. This was created by iCorbin. I'll leave a link down below as to where you can check them out and also the download links. This is my favorite biome introduced via this mod pack. This is known as a volcanic peak and this location is typically made up of lava, also basalt and in the overworld you are also going to find blackstone. It's also raining particles. These are ash particles. I believe that this biome goes inside by side with this, which is the deciduous forest. At nighttime, this biome looks really, really good. You don't see too many mobs spawning up here. Mobs typically need a light level of zero now to spawn. And considering that this location is covered in lava, you don't got to deal with them. All you have to do is deal with not dying by the lava. In this giant biome, like I mentioned, there is new mobs. One of them is actually going to be a deer. They're quite loud. You are able to actually obtain the antlers. So if we type in deer, you'll notice that we have the spawn egg, we have deer trophy, and we have the deer antlers. It'd be so cool if we could put them on. Basically, a deer head. Wait, can we put this on trees? Oh my days. So if you manage to kill one of these, we got a forward slash game mode survival, it might run away. Yeah, you know. If you kill it, you can actually frame it. If you manage to kill a deer, it'll drop a couple of things. It will drop leather, drop some food, and it'll drop some antlers. Now, with the antlers, you can turn this into bone meal. This is venison, which of course you're able to eat, and leather, you know what that's for. So if we put this down, this is the cooked version, which is cooked venison, which you can eat like regular food in a Minecraft world. And if you're really lucky, you can find sleeping raccoons. These are nocturnal and very similar to foxes hold items inside of their mouth. They're quite loud and really cute to look at. You are able to tame the raccoon using bread. Once tamed, it's gonna follow you exactly like a wolf slash dog would. This is a jacaranda forest. You typically find these intertwined with jungle biomes. So you will find a bunch of bamboo here. The actual trees, they're made of jacaranda leaves. You also have the jacaranda wood, which yes, can be converted into jacaranda planks. You can make stairs, you can make slabs. If we just type in jacaranda here, you've even got custom doors, trap doors, you name it. It is also available in this version as well. In this biome, you will find parrots and you might just have heard it. You will also find deers in here too. One of my favorite biomes that is available, I think this is gonna be called the Cherry Blossom Biome, pretty much because the name is called Cherry Blossom Leaves. And we have the Cherry Blossom Log, which looks absolutely incredible, by the way. This biome is also consisting of birch trees, but still having the Cherry Blossom Leaves. Now, I typed in here cherry. So we do have the cherry variations such as the woods, but I also noticed cherries as a food source and I've noticed cherry uh, saplings. So I imagine that this being cherries, which you can eat, will drop from the leaves of these trees. With this pack, you are also able to find pandas in the cherry blossom biome. You gotta be careful inside of these dense forests because you will find grizzly bears, small ones, and large ones. Now these drop a couple of things. Let me show you. You are able to get grizzly bear pelt, which is gonna give you the ability to craft grizzly bear armor. If you go in your search and you type in grizzly, you can actually get these, which you are able to wear. And it looks so awesome on your Minecraft character as well. Really good job with this one. Also in these woods, there are black bears. So be careful, very similar to the grizzly bear 
it will drop a pelt. This is the black bear pelt. Minecraft couldn't do it, but the Minecraft community could. This is your birch forest changes. It is consisting of the tall versions of the birch forests. These are tinder mushrooms, which will be growing on the sides of your trees. In this biome, you are also going to be finding bees more frequently, so keep an eye for that. There's one right there, there you go. So yeah, I mean, if the, if the developers can't do it, it doesn't matter. The Minecraft community is here to keep you all updated. You will also notice that there is a bunch of lily pads that can naturally spawn on water. Well, that's a good thing, but you gotta be very careful because in these waters, there are my friendly brothers, the crocodiles, and these things are not friendly. And they will happily attack you. And they will happily chase you down. So crocodiles will dominate the waters with this pack. So you gotta be really careful. They'll even get on land. Will they get on land? They, they, they'll get on land. And, and they'll chase you. Lucky for us though, these, these can't climb. There are also tons of other mobs available inside of this pack. You're obviously going to start seeing them in specific biomes and also during nighttime. But this one right here is a mossy zombie. This one right here is a vibranium skeleton, which looks really strange. A mossy skeleton as well. We have fireflies. The developers couldn't add them, but the Minecraft community could. And they're not just two particles. Wait, forward slash time set nighttime. Do they, do they light up? Ki kinda, kinda, yeah they do. The more of these we have, the better it's gonna be. I love them. And we have the Moo Bloom, which also comes in baby Moo Blooms as well. Unfortunately, this didn't win the Minecraft mob vote. There is also a Trapper Pillager. You're actually able to trade with this guy. If you manage to find yourself things like deer antlers or rabbit hides or grizzly bear pelts, you can trade them for emeralds with this guy. However, if we grab ourselves some deer stuff real quick, so we'll go with these. We've got a forward slash game mode survival. Is he going to want to willingly attack me? If you attack him, yes. Can I still trade with you? No, if 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 he if you try and attack him, he is gonna hunt you down and kill you. You're gonna have to be careful in cold locations because you can find yetis. I'm pretty sure they attack every single mob. As you can see here, it's inflicting a lot of pain to these mobs. Also available is vibranium armor, sword, and tools. But I'm going to let you guys go and adventure this. They look absolutely incredible. I will put them on, but you guys are going to have to download this pack and check it out for yourself. Again, created by I Corbin. He's done an incredible job. Maybe... Just maybe now, I'm going to be strong enough to fight this Yeti. Let's give this a go. Do you want to fight? How much damage does he do to you? He does do a lot of damage. And he's incredibly strong. I actually managed to kill him. He will drop... What's this? Ball of packed dice. Which you can throw. But he's incredibly deadly. Deadly.